Hey everyone, it's Mari, and I'm here again today with another 12 by 12 scrapbooking layout. And I'm going to be doing some scrapbooking today of some photographs that I took on a recent vacation. And the photographs are of my sister's little puppy. And I'm just working on doing some embossing, and I'm just going to put down some pigment ink there that um, I'm going to emboss using some black pigment, or some, sorry, some black embossing powder. And I'm just, when I'm using this uh, stencil here, which is uh, from the hip kit, I'm just um, noticing that I'm going over the edges and that's why I flipped the paper over the first time. But then as I'm going through, I'm like, yeah, I don't really feel like being that careful. So I just decided that I would cut the paper off in a vertical strip. So the reason why I'm using that stencil specifically is because it has um, little shapes on there that look like bow ties. And the layout is about my like I said my sister's little dog named Charlie and he's got um in one of the pictures he's got a little bow tie on and he is such a cute little dog oh my goodness anyways um so I'm just using some you can see me using that black embossing powder there and I'm just going to um actually heat emboss this off camera so you just see the process of of putting down that that embossing powder there and now I've actually heated that strip and you can see it there that's it and it's you can see that it's got the glossy shine of the embossing so I'm just going to take and put a hidden journaling pocket on the inside of the the um, or on the back side of that white cardstock and I'm just gonna I've actually done a little bit of journaling on a tag that came in the August hip kit and I'm gonna stick it into that pocket and hide the journaling and then when I look at the layout in future I can just pull that um, tag up from the back so I just put that on the top you can just see the little pink hole peeking out there and now I'm just going to stick down that vertical strip with the little bow ties on it so um, I really tried to stick with uh, black and white a lot on this layout lots of accents of of black on the the white background and and then I um, it, I'm adhering this cardstock to some black right now that will provide the frame for the entire layout. So I'm going to start working on the photo mat here right away. And the the um, papers that I used for this are from the last couple of hip kits, I believe. Um, the pink pattern paper there is from Seven Paper. It's the from the Amelia collection. And then I'm using some of the Pink Fresh Studio 6x6 paper from the Happy Things collection. And then that teal white polka dot paper is from October Afternoon um, Summertime collection. And that also is from the Hip Kit. So I think pretty much everything here is out of, I think, July and August kits. So I'm just working on creating some layers there. I wanted to bring in that teal paper because the little bow tie paper that's behind it has some little teal bow ties on it and I also use some washi tape that was in the kit as well that's kind of a teal so I just take the photos and I mount them on a little bit of vellum and then I mount them onto that black and white pink fresh studio cardstock and then onto some black cardstock finally is the final mat there just to I, I like the black for these just because it's it kind of coordinates with the other black on the layout and it does just make those uh, photographs pop a little bit so I use some foam tape as the final um, layer on the back of those so that they um, do stand up a little bit off the layout those photos so the one picture of Charlie the little puppy is has my daughter in it and then this one that I'm adding right now he's just sitting on the deck with his head down <laughs> and then um, the middle one that I'm going to put on there right away is the one with um, his bow tie and I did use a um, a filter on these photographs just using my iPhone and I really like that filter of the one with Charlie with his bow tie um, in the middle there I thought it just looked really nice and you can see that the water in the pool in the background is really co pretty color of blue and then um, Charlie's little bow tie which is kind of a pattern and I think it had some pink in it but I really wanted to use <clears throat> the black and white too because um, that's Charlie's color and he's got he has Cocker Spaniel and Border Collie I think are the breeds that he's mixed is his mix and he um, has some really cute little black and white spots on him here and there so oh my goodness he's such a cute dog 
So this was our first time that we ever got to meet Charlie on this visit because they just adopted him this earlier this year. And uh, I think he's about one year old or so. And uh, they also have two other dogs, but Charlie's sort of like, he's the puppy. He's only about a year old. So <clears throat> he's lots of fun. He's got lots of energy. So I'm using um, the the thicker stickers there that say hi and okay, I think are from Dear Lizzie. And then I'm using um, some, those little sparkly bow ties are from Pink Fresh Studio from the Happy Things um, <clears throat> thickers, word thickers, sorry for my voice guys. And so I'm just um, going to be working on sticking down these papers and I just want to make sure that I leave a spot there uh, big enough at the bottom and the top for that washi tape. So now I'm just going to get that tape. This is really nice washi tape. I'm not really sure what it is exactly. Um, if you want to know, you can always go back to the hip kit website and check out um, what, what the brand is of that, of that washi tape. So I'm just going to put those down and get those layers down and I'm going to put the washi tape at the top as well. I'm not a big person for washi tape and I don't know why. I think that because I'm a scrapbooker from way back and way back when we didn't have washi tape and it's a fairly new product to me. And so I think I just have to get into the habit of using it because I love it. I mean, it's just fantastic on this layout and it's so fun to use. It's so easy to use. And um, I think I just have to remember to get it onto my layouts more often. But I do find that that tends to be one of the things in my kits that doesn't end up getting used up. So I have to get that sorted out. Just measuring to make sure that I have those everything aligned properly there. And I just really love this October afternoon paper. We got some of it, like I said, in our kit. And then I think I ended up buying more of it because I just really liked it. So I'm going to stick those down using that foam tape and I don't center these exactly. I probably should have moved that photo mat over to the left a little bit, but, um, but anyways, it's, it's not that bad. It's not that noticeable, but it could have been centered a little bit better. And then I'm just going to put that little high thicker there sticker at the top and the okay at the bottom. I thought that was cute because it looks like Bailey is saying hi to Charlie and he was the guy that often wanted to just like hop up onto your lap and that kind of thing and he's small enough that that he can do that and okay is kind of like where he's laying down on the deck and nobody's playing with him at that point because he does have a lot of energy and the other two dogs are, are a little bit older but it's funny because they all of a sudden will start chasing each other around the pool <clears throat> and that's uh, quite the scene. So I made the title Chucky Bowtie. I put some little stamps on there that are from um, my favorite things stamp set called You Make My Tail Wag. And the title is relates to what I call Charlie, which is Chucky Chucky Bow Wow. But in this one, I wanted to make the title Chucky Bowtie because focusing on the, the bow ties. So I hope you enjoyed this and come again for another day for another video next time. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you.